This is Alex Ramosi. I started four businesses that cracked 10 million in a row. But did you know that he almost went out of business because he could not generate enough leads? In July 2020, Alex was at a really tough spot. His well-established lead generation methods just stopped working. COVID was raging, obviously, so brick and mortar businesses that he was helping started closing left and right and no longer needed his services. And with new Apple's privacy update, well, ads were killed overnight, so no leads coming from there. At that point, Alex had a lot of employees with families to feed, so he needed to act quickly. The thing he would do next not only saved his business, but made him millions of dollars and made him write a best-selling book about it. And that thing was cold outreach. So in this video, not only are we going to dive into Alex Ramosi's exact lead generation strategy, but I'm going to show you how to actually implement it. Let's go. According to Alex, there are four main ways to generate leads. Contacting people you know, running ads, content, and cold outreach. He needed predictability, so frankly, content was out of the question. We already know what happened to ads, and at his scale, contacting people directly that he already knew just wasn't possible. So cold outreach it was. What this means is that we need to advertise to people who do not yet know us. This can be cold calling, writing the old school mail, or sending voiceless mails as well. And the most popular out of them all, cold email. And that's what we're going to focus on in this video. The idea here is very simple. We need to put an offer people cannot refuse in front of our ideal customer profile. But there are a number of problems that we'll need to solve for. The first problem is how do we contact them? Or rather, who do we even contact? We need to build a lead list. And Alex Hermosi's $100 million leads book has a few great options. Option number one is to buy brokers for leads. But that method sounds a little old fashioned buying leads lists, come on. Uh, there are hundreds or thousands of companies out there who've been working that list day and night, so probably not the best option for us. Method number two is something that Alex calls elbow grease method. That's leveraging existing groups and communities where your target audience is concentrated. And although this method can be extremely effective, it's also very time consuming and you'll need to figure out that one on your own. And method number three is to use software to build leads lists. And that's exactly what we're going to focus on in this video. And by the way, I have a great dedicated video about four ways you can build leads lists for free. Click on this card to watch it. This time I'll use the data scraper method since it's my favorite. The idea here is very simple. We need to find existing directories online where our target audience is concentrated and the data scraper is going to just extract that information into a nice spreadsheet. Here's the list of top 100 financial advisors, personal injury lawyers in California, and the real estate agents in DC, depending on whom you want to target. For this use case, let's extract the list of top 100 financial advisors. And I'm going to be using this workflow automation tool called Bardeen. You can download it in the description of this video. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new scraper template that will extract information from the currently open page. We need to extract a list and click on the first two items in the list that we want to extract, like this. And now let's select the information we want to grab, we want to get the text and the link. Here we have the full name, we'll have the profile link, then let's grab the firm, the location, and the team side, why not? Okay, lastly, this list is going to be distributed across multiple pages and we only have 10 results show up here. So I want to add pagination. This way, our scraper is going to go through each one of the pages available and extract all of the information. Let's select click pagination and select the next button. Let's save this template. Now our automation has the scraper action that will extract all of the information. We can add this data into a spreadsheet. So let's add another action that's called add rows to Google Sheet. Specify the spreadsheet that we want to add data to every time. 
And finally, let's dump all of the data coming from the scraper action into the spreadsheet. I'm going to click on use commands and click on action one. So data coming from the scraper will be added to this new spreadsheet that we're creating. That's it, let's click on done. And let's click on this automation to run it. For the spreadsheet, I can create a new spreadsheet and call it 100 financial advisors. Let's run this automation. Okay, and that's our spreadsheet. Let's check it out. And there we have our lead list. Okay, we have a somewhat good lead list, but it's time for us to make it amazing. We know who is on the list, but we do not have a way to contact them. We need their email addresses. Thankfully, there are tons of great lead enrichment tools out there. My favorite one is Apollo, and look at how easy it is. But it comes with tons of pre-built automations, and this specific one will find people's email addresses and other information from your lead list in Google Sheets. Let's go ahead and try it out. There are three arguments that we need to fill out. The first one is the Google Sheet itself. Our sheet is called 100 Financial Advisors. Next up is the column with the full names. And finally, the column with the company name. Let's call the company. Let's run this automation. And now let's go back to our spreadsheet and find all of this additional columns with information found. And most importantly, here we have the emails. I'm going to sort this list to see how many emails were found. And it does seem like we have 40 emails out of 100 contacts. And if you want to find twice as many emails from the same list of names, check out the waterfall lead enrichment method by clicking on the card over here. So far, so good. Now what? We need to get our foot in the door with a bunch of strangers. And no matter how charming you are, people are just too busy to care about you. So we need to craft an email so good, people would feel stupid saying no. And to craft that perfect email, Alex suggests to do a bunch of research, watch their videos, read news about them, go through their social media profile to essentially turn this relationship from a cold relationship, a stranger asking for a favor, to a relationship that's more warm, that has shared context. Hey, I already know a bunch about you. We have this common ground, now we can talk. Great if you're selling very expensive products to a tiny audience and terrible if you don't. It's just too time consuming and frankly not very scalable. Alex suggests to send 100 emails for 100 days. Three minute personalization if you're good, times 100 emails. Wait, that's like six hours of work uninterrupted for 100 days. Last time I checked, we live in the age of artificial intelligence. So let's outsource this task to ChatGPT. To get those hyper-personalized AI generated outreach messages, we need to get additional context. And the only place where we can get it is from these LinkedIn profile links. To do that, I'm going to use another Bardina automation that will enrich those LinkedIn profile links and get us some additional information, such as the data from the about section, their current position, and so much more. Let's click on try it. Select our spreadsheet, financial advisors, then we need to point to the column that has all of the LinkedIn profile links. And I'm going to save to my playbooks and run it. Now we have all of these additional fields, such as how many connections the person has, their headline, and most importantly, the about section that contains all the gold, all of the additional context that we're going to feed to our AI copywriter. We also have the start and the end date of this experience, so you can use these fields to further narrow down your search. Up next, let's use artificial intelligence to generate those hyper-personalized opener statements for our email. Let's call this column personalization statement. And to get them created, I'll build a quick automation using Bardeen. And here in the builder, I'm going to pull all of the data from the spreadsheet. Let's add another action. Select OpenAI and create customized text generated by OpenAI. We have a number of arguments that we need to fill out. What is the format of the text is going to be first sentence of a cold outreach message. 
and then I'm going to paste my prompt. You're helping me write personalization statements for a cold outreach email, make it sound like you've done a lot of research on the person and use the following information. For that, I'm going to click on this insert variable and provide the context that we've just extracted from LinkedIn. Let's add the about data and let's add experience summary. There we have it. There are some additional arguments that we can fill out. I'm going to skip it for now. And then I'll need to pick the AI model to write those emails. GPT-4 is the most reliable one for this job. So click on done. And finally, let's update that spreadsheet with our personalization statements. New action, update Google Sheet rows, select the spreadsheet, then the tab. And finally, we're going to update rows with data. I'm going to find that personalization statement and map the data coming from OpenAI action. Click on done, call it personalization statements. And let's run this automation. Okay, and that's our spreadsheet. Let's check it out. And there we have our personalization statements. You can check them out and they're going to be just as good as the information that you provided in the about section and in the experience summary. So the more information you extract and the more information you provide to the AI model, the better your results are going to be. This is our personalization line that will go into this email template. That happens to be the email that generated Alex Hermosi 7,000 leads for his book launch created by Enzo Corasso. And this email is pretty genius. So Enzo realized that he can target podcast listeners where Alex Hermosi has showed up. So this is his opening statement. Great to see that there is another listener of Diary of the CEO, which they obviously follow because he scraped them as followers of that podcast or followers of that person. And uh, looking at your LinkedIn profile, it seems like you are selling to target audience, which we generated with OpenAI and what they're selling or what they're helping people with. So this statement says, hey, you can probably sell more or sell better. Up next is the irresistible offer. Can I send you the framework that Alex Hermosi used to get 20,000 leads per day? Entirely free, of course, and a lot of magic happens in the PS where they can get two special unreleased chapters from the book that Enzo will send. So all it takes is to just reply, yes, genius email. And that's the exact email that made Enzo the top affiliate for Alex Hermosi. Up next, we need to bombard our leads with messages through all accessible channels. Email, Facebook, Discord, Pigeon Post, Instagram, whatever. To send emails at scale, we're going to use this tool called instantly.ai. Let's create a campaign, call it Financial Advisors. We need to upload our lead list. Instantly is going to automatically map all of the different fields, but we want to scroll all the way down and get our personalization statements as a custom variable that we can use later on. Then we need to create our outreach message. Here I have a template. We need to replace some fields with variables, such as the first name. Here we have our personalization statement. Do some magic with formatting and add the signature. When you're ready, you can click on this preview email icon and there's how it's going to look like. Here we have our hyper personalized outreach paragraph in this case. For my taste, it's a bit too long, but again, it's up to you what prompt you want to pick. Send yourself a test email just to make sure that the formatting is correct and you are up for scheduling this email. You can pick the time and date and click on options and select the email accounts from which you want to send the emails. You can track open rates and click through rates. And there's some other advanced options. When ready, you can click on launch and all of your emails, hundreds or thousands of emails are going to be sent automatically. And all of the follow-ups are also going to be sent and you will see everything, all of the responses in the unified inbox. Email marketing is also a numbers game. So Alex Hermosi says that the benchmark that you should shoot for is 3% of your list turning into engaged leads, meaning that people who gave you a positive response. Next up is scaling. You'll need to buy a bunch of domains, warm them up, run some A-B tests on different versions of copy, but that's a topic for another day. 
The times have changed since Alex Hermosi was starting out and in a way we've gotten it much easier. Uh, number one, we can learn from his book and number two, there's artificial intelligence and tons of specialized software tools that make this whole game a lot easier. However, it's still pretty hard and the most difficult part of it, in my opinion, is building really high quality lids lists. Check out one of this videos next to get that problem solved. I'll see you there.